Hello Virgo, I am Ulrich. I'm a Lenor Lenormand card reader, but this time we will use a financial deck for your card reading. The deck contains 44 cards and the laying is done with three cards you see here in front of me. You can also see four objects here on the table, meaning we will do four card readings for each astrological sign for the month of August 2021. And this video here is for Virgo. Now, from these four objects, you choose or you pick one that relates most to your personality or you choose one you feel most comfortable with. This object of your choice, it should or it will relate the best to your current financial situation or the advice that you are receiving from the cards regarding that financial situation. Of course, you can watch all four uh, videos related to the, to the Virgo sign. And after you watch all four videos, then you can decide what symbol or object is fitting your personal card reading or uh, your financial situation. The matches here represent the fire element. The stone represents the earth element. The aerosol sprayer represents the air element and the shell represents the water element. So Virgo, here we go for your card reading for August 2021. Hello Virgo and welcome to the shell or the water group for the card reading, the financial card reading for the month of August uh, 2021. So the first card we see here means that, I, I just give a quick overview. The first card um, here means that every little bit count for letting us grow. The second card here is about the pursuit of happiness or how happy that we are, what we have, or how happy we will be. And the last card is about the social pressure we get uh, related to money or objects that we own or want to own. So the first card here is every gesture uh, counts, meaning probably um, if you're in a certain amount of money um, in your account, you don't understand how you get there. Um, maybe by observing yourself, um, you will notice that small, unimportant, uh, unimportant amounts of money um, are like anonymously disappearing. Um, meaning the phenomenon of bank cards and plastic money gives us the impression that uh, small payments have no consequences. Um, there is no longer an exchange of coins or paper money, which would be a good thing to balance uh, our things out. Uh, paper money has a certain value and it has a certain psychological effect to it. But with plastic or credit cards, our brain does not calculate the same way. It's like we are not spending. So for improving our finances, you need to realize that every bit counts. Some people lost a lot of money uh, because they are not careful with small amounts. And it's with these small amounts that we actually can improve. There's no, not always need to spend large sum of money uh, to impoverish or get in a difficult situation. Reversed, of course, you can, if there is a certain issue uh, with money, you can get yourself quickly back in hand. Um, for instance, um, by stopping these insignificant small payments that always appearing around you. It's like you need to control uh, more your small expenses here and that uh, you need to value the small amounts that you're spending. If you do so, your uh, bank account will uh, substantially grow. It's through a, a series of small decisions and small not spending amounts, micro decisions that you will get back on your feet. So this card tells you, you need to take control. The second card is about happiness, luck, or how we see the luck with money. There is a saying that goes that money don't bring happiness, but of course we all need to admit that it's very easy to have money. 
Of course, the first thing we need to do is we need to fulfill our uh, basic needs, um, our security needs, our psychological needs like food, uh, drinks and uh, shelter. And then we aspire to self-fulfillment. But the question is, what is self-fulfillment for you? It would of course be wrong to think that every three years or every two years or every four years, a new car meets these essential needs. That's not an essential need anymore. That is already a luxurious need. So this card asks you to review your point of view on how you spend money and how you, happy you are with money. It's not because you have all luxury in your life that you want, that you are gonna be happy or that you are happy. So this card asks you to take a break and think about the pursuit of happiness and the relation to that with money. It depends on your point of view, what it is for you. You want to live like a king or you want to have a happy life where you are satisfied and your uh, payments are done and you still have a, uh, a certain amount of uh, savings in your account. It depends uh, how, how your uh, point of view is. Um, it says also, if the money was so strongly connected to absolute happiness, then why I are some groups of very rich people so desperately unhappy? So it's a question you can ask yourself. Of course, money is essential in, in, meet, uh, in meeting our basic needs. Uh, there's no question about that. However, once these are fulfilled, then it starts depending on yourself and how you see your finances, how you experience it. So this card tells you to enjoy the small things in life. Appreciate the people around you, what you already have, what you already own, because that is the real deal. Sometimes we can find real value in the things that we already have or that are close to us. So same as here, it's the small things that matter. The next card is about social pressure. It's actually a little bit related to the pursuit of happiness. I will explain myself. By nature, human beings compare themselves constantly with others, with their peers, with people close to them, with family members, with their neighbors. So living in a community, it determines the place that we are in relationship to other people. But we must admit that some of us live in the society of overconsumption. Your friends, neighbors are driving in new luxurious cars. They wear nice designer clothes. They wear expensive shoes. And for your part, you are struggling at the end of the month to meet, to, to, to meet ends, or you can just get around and have some small savings. This card asks you not to compare your situation with those of others. And also don't let others' financial appearances fool you. This card suggests to you to use your money wisely and spend it in another way. For instance, if you need to buy certain articles and these articles are big, like for instance, you need to buy a car, instead of buying a brand new car, you can buy a car that is six months or one year old, and you add an extended warranty and you are safe also for several years. With that, you can save a serious amount of money. If this is for small articles, you can find a lot of stuff on online or internet um, or uh, in, in, in websites for used articles. Sometimes the, even the warranty is still there and sometimes they are unpacked. So this card tells you to spend in a different way. Anyway, this card means what looks or what looks others give to us on the outside is not necessarily so. It's not because our neighbor has a brand new car that the car is paid, that's something different or our sister or our brothers. So this card tells you to live according to your own needs and your own abilities. Define yourself socially and personally and connect that to your accomplishments. Your accomplishments 
and the way you are are ultimately much more worth than your clothes, your new shoes, and your brand new car every five years or four years. So don't bend for social pressure, don't bend for the media, don't bend for promotions, just be yourself, go your own way, and don't bend for social pressure. So, Virgo, for the Shell or the Water Group, this is all for this month. I hope you enjoyed this card reading. If you did, please subscribe to my channel and thank you for doing so. And see you maybe next time for the next reading. Bye-bye for now. Hello, Virgo, and welcome to the Aerosol or the Air Group for your financial card reading for August 2021. We do a quick overview first. Uh, the first card is congratulating you with your achievements. So probably you have uh, reached some point in your life that um, that requires for this, uh, to congratulate you. The second card is for helping you improving. Uh, probably there's a recalculation uh, necessary of certain debts that you have, but I will explain myself later. And then here, uh, this is about that we pay the old fashioned way in cash. I will exp I explain more clearly now. So the first card, it actually means that we come in a certain period of our life that we have financially progressed and evolved. And I'm thinking now here for uh, the time to come, you are rather carefree for a few months, if not a few years. Um, it means this, that you are probably, um, in a way, captain of your own ship and you're sailing towards calmer waters. However, as we know, life is a battle, so the battle is not over and it may never be. So every day we must sail course, uh, whatever it comes now, this is all improvement here that lays here. So this is a very good card laying. So this card also tells you, it asks you to take, sit down, Virgo and take a few minutes, take a break. Give yourself a little rest to regain your breath and appreciate the road you've traveled. Take a break, get something to eat out. So it's been a long road, but remember that each step brings you a little, a little bit closer to your finish line. This is what this card tells you. So savor today, celebrate your accomplishments, whatever they may be. Give yourself the gift of a well-deserved break, go for dinner, enjoy some food, or uh, enjoy some food with the loved ones. That is what this card tells you. The second card is actually for advancing yourself because I see very few negative here. So I give the explanation, the positive explanation only today here. This is for a recalculation of your debts. So probably you have a mortgage on your house or you have some positive debts as they say. This card tells you because we are in a very difficult financial situation worldwide now. So maybe the mortgage on your house, it's been, it's been reviewed, but maybe the bank don't tell you. But in general, if the interest drops and you have like a fixed payment for your whole payment of your house, sometimes when the interest drops, the difference becomes so clear that sometimes it's smart to let recalculate the interests on our house that we pay on a mortgage. This recalculation and this whole process, um, you can do the calculation, you can do yourself over here, you can let it do in the bank and ask for doing for you. But for, re for rewriting this whole thing, um, it will cost you probably for reviewing this uh, loan, thousand to $2,000. It depends on your loan, but I'm just giving an amount here. Uh, or euro, but with the investment of $2,000, maybe you get 15 to 20,000 back. So this card tells you to check if, you, if it's not interesting for recalculating interests on debts. Normally this is um, also sometimes on, on credit cards that we need to check if our uh, credit cards uh, are not very high in interest. So uh, this also I want to add, if you have a credit card, compare with other banks if you are not in some kind of company that is really sharking you. So check it out because this is what this card tells you also. You need to check 
the credit cards that are you using that you are not paying like enormous, enormous interest if you go even for a small amount below zero. So this is what this card tells you. The next card um, tells us um, sometimes we lose track of money, meaning we always pay with cards uh, in Europe and in the US, we do so. Um, very few people of us um, pay in cash. But this card tells you to go back the old fashioned way. Um, the context is a little bit odd here, but I will give the explanation anyway. Mostly, as I said, we pay with, uh, with, with credit card. And it's like if we pay, pay with cre credit cards, it's impossible to calculate our exact expenses. And this card is actually telling you, it's telling you just go back in the old fashioned way to get the sense of money back. So maybe in a way, you, you, you don't feel the money anymore if you pay. Because actually, if we have money in our wallets and the notes are there and we give them, we actually have a feeling that we pay. And we look in our wallets and, and we think, oh, did I spend it already again? But with the cart, with the plastic, we don't have that feeling. So it's like we have no feeling and we have the feeling we don't pay. So this cart is about the feeling with money and spending the money. This is what it's about. So you will know in what way this applies on you. Also, I want to add here that if we pay with bank cards, you know, it's no coincidence that traders and banks, they want us, they want to gradu gradually eliminate cash money. Why? Because they want us to lose our sense of the money. They want to gradually, gradually eliminate it. So we lose our sense of contact with the money and we consume more. So for them, virtual payment is essential because they make money on it. But for you, it's a different kind. So this card tells you to get the feeling with money back. So it asks you for a few weeks or one month or longer if you want to pay cash. You will understand why this is asked from you. So this card asks you to do so. So Virgo. For the air group, this is all for uh, the month of uh, August 2021. This is a very positive card laying. I hope you are happy with the result. If you are, uh, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for doing so and see you next time. Thank you, bye-bye. Hello Virgo and welcome to the stone or the earth group for the card reading of financial card reading for August 2021. We make a quick overview here. The first card is the card about the influence that publicity and advertisement has on us. The second card is a recalculation of certain uh, debts that we have, but I explain later more. And this, the last card is about the way we see money and happiness, the pursuit of happiness. So the first card here is about the influence of publicity on us. There is advertisement everywhere in our lives. Um, we cannot on the internet, we cannot go to our mailbox, we cannot look in the outside or a bus is passing by with some publicity or taxi, it's everywhere. It's like we are bombarded with, with merchandise information. So this propaganda, it's everywhere and it's easy to be fooled. And sometimes we lose track where we are and we start to confuse um, where we really are. And, and some people even lose uh, the difference between essential goods and, and luxury goods. That's why the cell phone is here. A cell phone, I'm aware it's an essential need, but there are many categories of cell phones. So you get my drift here. You have many price categories there also. So. The question here is, it makes us realizing that we need to control the constant pressure that is on us. Maybe you are, if this group is sensitive for um, this pressure of marketing, so it advises you to ignore, 
If you can't stop reading these flyer, uh, flyers, put something on your mailbox that you don't want the publicity anymore. Put ad blockers on the internet for like for excluding it out of your world if you're sensitive to that. It asks you to take a critical look at your situation. Um, also, if you bought something and maybe you bought something and after you had some regrets, maybe you were influenced by some publicity. So that's maybe why you have this card here. If you do so, if you exclude this more out of your uh, daily life, um, I think you will advance more. That's why this card is here. The second card, since this is a positive lane, I'm gonna enlighten the positive aspect. This is about a recalculation of debts. Meaning we are in a very economical, difficult time now. Um, although everybody tells us we are not, but if you see around you, then you see how many business, businesses are disappearing, how governments are struggling for paying um, the expenses of the virus. You know what is going on, but still our, our eyes are kept closed and you know what I mean here. Um, this pandemic had a severe infect, impact on all of us, financially, business-like, or it affected our life in a different way. This is about recalculation of debts. Probably you have a mortgage on your house and due to circumstances, maybe economical circumstances, these rates are dropped because of the economic situation. This card asks you to check on that and maybe uh, you have a fixed mortgage, meaning you pay the whole, always the same amount for 20, 30 years till your house is uh, fully paid. But it's possible due to economical situations that the rates are so much dropped that you have a very big difference in rate. So it's possible then in some countries to let re-evaluate your rates. Meaning, if you don't know it yourself, just ask your your bank, how much these rates drops with the contract that you have currently? Because the bank in general, they keep very quiet about that because for, for them, it's a very nice deal. So it's on you for inquiring yourself. Some honest bankers will approach you themselves, but most will not. So this card asks you to reevaluate that. If you do so, for rewriting this whole system, depending on the value of your house, it can cost you 1,000, 2,000 or more, but the return will be five, six times higher. So this goes about really substantial amounts that can add, go to 20, 30,000 dollars or euro. So you need to check if this is not your case because this card is here with a reason. So check your rates. If that is not the case, the other side is uh, maybe you have some credit cards. This is on a smaller level then. And maybe one of the credit cards you have or you use frequently, and even if you go a little bit under zero, they charge you enormous amounts of interest. Maybe you don't pay attention to it, but just check what these companies charge you because this is what this card also, this is that we are overcharged in a way. This is a card that gives you a warning that something is fishy. The last card that we have here is the card of the pursuit of happiness or how happy that we are with money. What does this mean? Well, um, it means that money don't bring happiness, but we all know it's an essential good. It's the dirt of the world, but we cannot live without it. So here this card asks you to make the distinction between your basic needs and luxurious needs and how in what way that you are self-fulfilled. This card tells you if your car, for instance, is not too very old, will the next new car that you are planning to buy very soon bring you additional happiness or it will be bring more pressure on you and could you use this money for something else? This card asks you to reevaluate your happiness. Of course, um, it also it asks you to 
see your happiness. If you, if you want to live like a queen, a, king, a queen or a king, sorry, um, it's possible. But some people want to achieve that, but does that really make you or gonna make you happy? This is what this card tells you. It asks you to evaluate yourself and where you are. This card also tells you if money would bring absolute happiness, why are some of the most fortunate or most wealthy people on the world very unhappy? It's a question that demands an answer, but they will ask you or you will see that some of them are very unhappy. However, we need to provide for our uh, basic needs. I'm aware of that, but you need to position yourself somewhere and see where you are. And maybe your happiness is very close to you. Maybe it's next to you in the couch. Maybe it walks around in your house. Maybe these are the things that make you really happy. They are already there. So maybe this is the real deal and this card asks you to evaluate that. So coming back, don't let yourself be influenced by publicity. Check on certain accounts that you have and cards and loans if you, if you are not, um, if you cannot uh, uh, lessen the interest, if you cannot gain money on that. And the last here is it asks you how happy you are or how happy you will be. So Virgo, for um, the stone group or the earth group, for the month of August, this is all. I hope you are happy with this card reading. If you do, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and see you maybe next time. Bye bye for now. Hello Virgo and welcome to the matches or the fire group for your financial card reading for August 2021. I give a quick overview. The first card is about um, superficial things that we buy and the question that follows is if we really need those things. The question, the second card is about um, that we need to protect us ourselves for unforeseen conditions that can pop up in our lives. You see here that the pig is protecting itself. And the last card, it means probably that you achieved certain things in your life because this, this card congratulates you. But we go into the details now. So here, this is the first card is about superficial uh, behavior we display um, with buying goods that maybe we don't absolutely uh, need. This card asks you if you have been spending maybe money uh, that you didn't need to spend. Um, maybe you spend things on uh, superficial things and it really didn't generate his value. This card asks you uh, to think about uh, these expenses, like you need to make uh, an output of your bills, credit, debit cards, and see where you are. Even if you are in a very good uh, financial condition, this is what this card asks you to see uh, what what uh, with what exactly that you had, would, could have done without. So it asks you to calculate the sum of all incidental costs and what could you have offered yourself with this money that was really essential and important to you and probably that relates to the next card. Like the majority of the population, you are probably spending more on frivolous purchases than you think. And we never calculated. That's why you are asked you to calculate. This card asks you if it would not be better that you take care of yourself and you make some investments for retirement or things that are gonna be essential in the near future. This card, that this card is here, it gives you the opportunity to think about these habits. It tells you if you think and you avoid this behavior, you will uh, take a very financial step forwards for yourself. 
The next card, as I said, next to it is connected to it. This card wants us to prepare for if things go less positive for us, but I think for you now it goes positive. But anyway, you have this card here for a reason. You already are asked if you need to spend certain things. And here you ask if you are ready, if things would go in another way. We need to be aware that there will always be rainy days, storms, even hurricanes. So that is what this card is about. It asks you, even if you don't think so, that you need to prepare yourself for the bad days in life. It asks you if you have a rescue plan, a safety cushion. It asks you to foresee the unforeseen, the unpredictable. We don't know, you, nobody of us know exactly what will happen. And when it does, are you ready to face certain financial turmoil. This is what this card asks you. It's not a negative card, it's just questions are asked here to you. How are you prepared for this? How do you prepare? Have you certain insurances that you would like to have to secure yourself or the loved ones around you? Is your car well insured? Is your house well insured? Is it not overinsured? Is everything correct? I'm, I think here, when I see this card, you have some savings, but it asks you even to protect yourself. Reflect over things that you cannot foresee and to be in control, even though uh, the times are very prosperous now, maybe for you, but we never know what is coming and we need to calculate that uh, there are unforeseen conditions who can change the course of life. The last card here congratulates you. This is the best card out of the deck. Um, it means, um, it means uh, that we are congratulated with a certain situation that we are in right now. This card, this card congratulates you with your current situation. Probably you have progressed and evolved financially uh, in the last years or months. And for now, you are rather carefree for a few months, if not for a few years. Um, this card means that you are the captain of the ship for now uh, and that you are sailing towards calmer waters. But this card also tells you, same as this card, uh, that the battle is not over. It may never be. Every day we must sail the course, whatever. Um, it asks you to improve yourself more, take a few minutes of your time, and also to recognize the work you have done, the hard work that you have done so far, and your efforts you have done to come this way. Compare your current situation with that from yesterday, one year ago, five years ago, and compare yourself. This card asks you to smile. So it's time for a break. So give yourself a break. Take a little rest, regain your breath. That's a good uh, expression now these days. Um, and appreciate the road you have traveled so far, because I am assuming it's, it's been a long road for coming here. But remember um, that each problem that you faced brought you closer to where you are right now. So savor today, celebrate your accomplishments, whatever they may be. Give yourself the gift of a well-deserved break. Uh, go for dinner with your family, with friends, enjoy life if you can. So we evaluate here, be careful with superficial, buying superficial things that you don't actually need. Take care of yourself for if bad times would pop up because we never know what is happening tomorrow. And then the last card is the congratulations with your achievements so far. So Virgo, for the fire group, this was a nice laying. I hope you enjoyed this card reading. If you did, uh, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for doing so and see you maybe next time. Bye bye for now.